Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price because yesterday we have seen a bigger dump than expected. Then of course we're also gonna have a look into Ethereum and at the end also into the US dollar index and Nasdaq. So this video is brought to you by BTR. This is one of the best trading exchanges if you want to trade all the cryptos that you want up to 100x leverage. And next to that you can easily do copy trades. Here we have very great successful traders. With one click you can copy trade other successful traders traders so definitely check it out and if you want to know a bit more of BTR exchange then make sure to watch the videos that are popping up at the end of this video and now my friends let's dive here straight into the four hour time frame for Bitcoin because yesterday we have seen some very nice and bullish price action above $42,000 but again we got rejected and although we weren't able to have four hour closes above the top of the Caldness channels so after uh, this rejection we came all the way back down not only towards the median line of the Caldness channels where I was expecting some nice support no we crashed even below it and right now we got saved from the bottom of the Keltner channels and the good thing is that so far this support is still holding we are also creating a higher low and money flow is still positive so what we have seen yesterday in my opinion is not too bad it was a bit bigger than expected probably also it was a bit news driven since uh, Jerome Paul came out with some interest news so those kind of news in my opinion are just uh, short driven so only in the immediate short term we are going to see such an effect but at the end I think that we are going to resume this uh, nice uptrend that we were building here in the 4 hour time frame. And uh, also we had a bearish divergence, we had higher highs in the price action but in the RSI we had lower highs as you can see here in my indicator. So this reaction was expected but I thought that here these $41,000 uh, would have uh, held but as you can see we dropped below but I'm pretty confident that here in the 4 hour time frame we can recover very very soon. So we want to see again 4 hour closes above $41,100 in order to continue the uptrend. If here in the next coming uh, hours and days we are not seeing again 4 hour closes above $41,000 then things can start to look ugly because we are again at this uh, last resort of the bulls here at around 40 k so we shouldn't drop lower and uh, since we still have positive money flow we have very good chances for a nice recovery and also in the 3 hour time frame which I'm usually trading, you can see that we are about to get another buy signal. Nothing is flashing yet, but maybe today or during this weekend, we are about to get another buy signal, similar like we also had here. And this together with positive money flow and also in an increase in money flow can of course bring the Bitcoin price straight back above $41,000 and continue the uptrend. And now let's go over into the daily time frame. Because here you can see another huge rejection out of the median line of the Keltner channels. We are still below of it. So as long as we have daily closes below the median line of the Keltner channels, we are still in this um, bearish side. So the trading zone is between $41,600 and $38,400. But of course it would be very, very bearish if we would lose the support trend line at around 40k from this ascending triangle. So far we never had daily closes below of it. That's why as long as the support is intact, we have very good chances for a nice uh, uh, big breather. But also here the daily time frame is of course in a critical point. We have right now a sell signal. It's only flashing, it's not confirmed and also money flow is increasing. So that's why I think that we have very good chances for a nice uh, bounce and continuation to the upside. But we want as soon as possible daily closes above the median line of the Kelton channels in order to continue here this uptrend. Because as long as we are below the median line, uh, we are still in this critical point. So Bitcoin still has the chance for a nice recovery, but we want to see those daily closes above the median line of the Keltner channels as soon as possible. And also keep in mind that we still have that bearish retracement level in front of us. So if we do here a Fibonacci retracement, you can see that the 0.618 is at around $44,300. So even though Bitcoin can easily here start and continue an uptrend, we still have to break above $44,300. So not only above this bearish retracement level, but also above this huge resistance that is coming from this ascending triangle. 
So if Bitcoin continues here, this uptrend that we're building in the lower time frames, like the four hour time frame, this resistance here at $44,300 will tell us if this breakout target of around 56K is still valid or not. Because if you were getting rejected and this was just a dead cat bounce and we will most likely come back down towards the support and maybe even break below it. So if we're gonna see here continuation to the upside in the next coming hours, because I still have all my longs opened, make sure to put a tight stop loss at this resistance here, because here I'm expecting a potential pullback before we had higher, if we had higher. So here in the daily time frame, first we still need to break 42K, we are still below this resistance, and then of course $44,300 in order to have the chance for a nice continuation towards our breakout target of $56,000, and maybe even go higher, because if we would go higher, then of course we would start to trade above the top of the Kalten channels in the weekly time frame. And every time we had weekly closes above the top of the Kalten channels, we always see big moves in the Bitcoin price to the upside. And that's why this would be extremely bullish if we were able to have also weekly closes above the top of the Kalten channels, because then we can also expect new all time highs for Bitcoin. So not only a nice continuation towards this huge resistance up here of this rising channel currently at around $70,000 but also even push higher towards Moonboy targets way above 100k, but only if we are able to have weekly closes above the top of the Kaltner channels. Until then, this also can act as a huge resistance here at 56k, and of course also end up in a lower high compared to the all-time high of 69k, and afterwards we should expect another huge dump down towards the support. At that time, probably it will be at around $40,000. So we are still in a critical point, but Bitcoin has the chance here for a nice recovery. And if Bitcoin is able to recover, of course, most of the altcoins will start a nice rally, especially Ethereum, because also here we are seeing nice positive money flow and it is increasing here in the daily time frame. So also here, as soon as Bitcoin is pushing above the median line of the Kelton channels in the daily time frame, also Ethereum most likely will do the median line of the Kelton channels here is currently at $3,100. And if we are able to push higher than that, then also here I'm expecting a nice run up towards the top of the Kelton channels in the weekly time frame at $4,100 if Bitcoin is reaching 56k. And now we can have a look into Nasdaq because here also yesterday we had a huge dump since uh, we had this uh, bearish uh, news about the interest rates. And as you can see, uh, also here we weren't able to push above the median line of the Kelton channel. So we got rejected and right now we're coming very close to the uh, bottom of the Kelton channels at around 13,500. And uh, here we are still oversold in the daily time frame, so it is possible that we could see here a fast recovery as soon as we're starting a nice uh, run up. But also here, Nasdaq currently is looking bearish in the daily time frame. We should expect continuation to the downside. And here on the weekly time frame, you can see that we are coming close to the 100 weekly moving average, which previously was a huge support. So also here, we should expect at any time a nice bounce and breather. And uh, that's why we still have the chance, also in the crypto market, for a nice recovery if Nasdaq here is able uh, to create maybe a, a nice double bottom formation even on the weekly time frame and start a huge uptrend. And if we're gonna see a nice uh, uh, pump in Nasdaq and also in the crypto market, then we most likely are going to see the opposite here in the DXY. So the US dollar index is still pushing higher. Yesterday, even though we crashed below um, the nine daily moving average, you can see that we immediately got a nice bounce out of the median line of the Kelton channels in the daily time frame, And right now we're pushing again towards this resistance. I have adjusted a bit this rising channel because right now it looks like that we are forming a potential ascending broadening wedge. In theory, this is a bearish pattern, but uh, as long as here we have positive money flow, uh, the DXY will continue to push uh, higher. And we are again at this uh, resistance up here. So that's why it is possible that at any time we get, we are getting a consolidation phase or even a drop down again towards the median line or the bottom of the Kelton channels. And those of course will lead into a nice rally both in the crypto and stock market. And because of the DXY, because we are facing this huge resistance up here, I think that the potential fast recovery is in the cards, but only time will tell what will happen. Right now, all eyes are here in the four hour time frame for Bitcoin, because if Bitcoin here is able to push again above $42,000, then I think that we are going to see some nice uh, bullish price action to the upside and reach at least $44,000 uh, before eventually another bigger pullback. So with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. 
If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos. Check out all the referral links that you find in the video description because with all of them you will get some extra bonus. And don't forget to sign up to Bityard because here we have very great features. And follow me also in my other social media platforms. All the links are here in the video description. So thank you again very much for watching and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye!